People on probably the crapper. Joe Morgan's waving. Joe. So um, please, we, we, we're talking about detailed things here. Don't watch this on your phone on the toilet. They will. You know you would, right? Yeah, yeah, that's where I watch almost everything. So, yeah. do you wear headphones on the toilet then? Um, no, I just like, I prefer the sound of the tiny speaker on a, on a phone. That's Makes what, sense that yeah. Harry puts in so much work into these pedals uh, and then, then... That's that's how I do it. I make him do all that work. And, and then, then tiny speaker. And then just don't care. Okay. Yeah. Matt Schofield, who I've been told, well, you know, I, I don't know anything to let you know. Yeah, that's uh, Is awesome. And when he plays, I'm like, hmm, why, why am I holding a guitar? Well, I, I gotta hold something. So uh, you have seen many Mad Professor, or in French, Le Mad Professor, um, pedals on my channel because they're cool and they send them to me and that's why I play them. Um, but you know that in every single video where I need a reverb that I say Silver Spring Reverb is the shit. They have the big ass Strymons and now the Ventress and they do a lot of things. When you want spring, I haven't found one that I like more than that. And I'm with you about, like, not wanting too much stuff on a pedal for my personal taste. Nice well, and simple I mean, for if, my if, taste. If you, yeah. if you want, what's it called, like a, a shimmer and all that stuff, yeah. you need the controls. But when it comes to spring reverb, it needs to just work. And I, there's not a single setting on there that doesn't work. Even everything full blast is still beautiful. Mm -hmm. So uh, That's why I use this. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute, we'll I'm get sure, to that. but the same, exactly the same reason. So... You guys know that on my channel, each and every single one of these pedals will be a 25 to 45 minute video. Now we're going to try to do this in 20 for all three. All right. Um, we'll go through the setup because that's what we le do in French. Um, Matt's playing a guitar. Yes. From who? England, my friend, for many years, SVL guitars. SVL, and it's the 59. This one's the 59 because it's ash and it's a hard tail, so uh, it's a little different. My, ah. you, my usual one is a 61, but uh, this one is who's with me this week for a, a long age. So, two hard tails. Um, what's the rough price range on that? Uh, do you know what? I don't know. I uh, I wouldn't want to say. I mean, but several thousand, yeah. So, okay. Yeah, he makes just amazing know, instruments. A few, a, few like, a year. Like, like this make models, uh, I think seven. Right. Pretty, pretty awesome guitar. Yeah. Um, or awesome. Um, I'm playing, which I just got handed to me today, the sixth. I can't say the th at the end. Sixth. Sixth. Yes. Prototype <laughs> of my Harley Benton HP42 signature. Let Let's see if this one works out. I know. That this is brilliant. I played it this morning. So um, let's hope the company gets 42 of those out as fast as possible. Um, yeah, and that's going. Uh, we have a Morley AB wire box on the bottom, which means we have a we have a bit of a buffering thing. Uh, we checked it. It changes the tone about this much. Not so much that it matters to us uh, because we want to we, we want to play it back and forth. Um, going into the Twimble symbol, that's a double symbol. Is it? Um, yeah, it's the two symbol models that I think that they've had in one box, but slightly tweaked as well. Okay, so. I have the symbol with the that has like the the wood grain something, the, yeah. the, the brown one. Yeah, this that's the, like the left side of that, but this one I think sounds f uh, better to me. Okay, the, the voice. So I mean, very close, but this is preferable to me that one. And that's like the other symbol with the that just had the the switch on it you know so uh, i didn't know about that one yeah I the pre that. The, it was called the pre driver and then this i think is ah, yeah, no, no, i know I, I, i've drive. seen it yeah yeah so they put um, it all in one box then we've got the purple royal blue overdrive because drugs in finland apparently is a thing that happens um and then we have the deep blue delay where the drugs ran out and it makes sense i'm going to uh, assume analog standard three button Three knob delay. I don't. I think it's actually uh, the delay line is uh, digital. I think it's not an analog delay, but uh, it's, certainly, it's certainly an analog sound through s signal and uh, sound. Yeah. So, so digital delay that has a frequency curve and behavior like an analog. Yes, and that's the whole thing with that pedal for okay. me as well, the voicing of it. So. And then it goes. Uh, all that stuff goes into. Well, of course, the impede switcher by the brilliant Peter Arendt. And then into the 
Old School 21 RT, which by itself, well, give us something. All right, well, like, am I on A there? <laughs> And the reverb's coming from the amp, and that's pretty much as it says. It says old school, which means it's supposed to be like a vintage kind of yeah, vibe, old sweet mids. Fendery, black facey, yep. thing, yeah. <laughs> Last but not least, going into the Universal Audio Ox, but right now I have a 412 with cream bags, mic with an SF57, and uh, ribbon. Who cares? Do things. <laughs> do things. What be things? be awesome, man? Come on. I, mean, I, I put that on because I always play with that. That's just the thing. It's really, really important for me. My sound, the the deep blue delay is always on, and it's just you can just hear it. It's like kind and of fast. in the slap, fast repeat. in the slapback kind of area, and um, it makes. It's that's it's like the most important thing. That tiniest little difference for me, unless you set the amp a little bit brighter and then fills in. It's almost like a doubler. Yeah, yeah. It just puts. It's like having the back wall in the same place every okay. night. Yeah. If you know what I mean. So it creates an environment. Um, it's the little little things. You wouldn't really hear it on the gig live, but I know if it's not there, and it's just. Can uh, I be an ass and switch to me and twiddle with it? Yeah. There you go. I can't do what he just did. It's never going to sound like that. No. You did? I don't, I don't even know why I just played this one. You didn't roll. I don't know Are why you? I did. You, you, you're a lefty slider. Uh, I'm a not, I'm a whatever comes out. I don't have like any set patterns for anything. I just go for the next note that I'm looking for. So I don't have any fingerings per se. You okay, know? I'm going to work on getting exactly that sound yeah. that you had. I'm going to study that video and try to do that. All right. So let me see. Uh... So that's, I mean, what we always have to try is the eighth note thing, which of course is different, um, the dotted eighth, which is difficult with an analog sound because you want the re repetition to be exact, but we'll try it anyway. Okay, we're getting there. analog it's not meant for that oh, you need a digital delay to do, really get that yeah sound. shaping delay like an ambience adder you know so, you don't even have to have it in t like I would never have it in time if you know what I mean yeah, I, yeah. I, it's just it's just to, to, to fill it's up just a thing and I use one setting for a long delay on a couple but when of we test well. something we want to test everything oh, sure, sure. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't go in and actually keep the note, it just does self oscillation. Some people just don't play guitar and do that. Yeah, and I've then never done that. Then Bonamassa goes and says, don't do that. I've never done that. <laughs> so let's see. That, not a level. It's meant exactly for what you're doing. Yeah. It's not like the whoa, there's an ambient delay to create the soundscapes because the, the the repeats go away when you when you crank it up too much. It self oscillates, so you can't get these endless repeats. Yeah. So I think this is made for exactly what you're doing. Yeah. I Subtle thickening, yeah. non-time like, delays. I, I use one like this on a on a song, and it's this is about as crazy as I would well, get. Here we go. So it would be like. Uh, let me put... as I get with delaying my music. It almost is the it has the function of a reverb. Yeah. To to, to give you that ambience. Yeah. But it does that beautifully. Yeah, it just and it never gets in the way, so it doesn't matter what tempo you set it at. Um, you know, with the band and 
you know, be playing and uh, it's a lot of sound and it, it's really easy to, for delays to just become a mess, you know? Yeah, and, and this, uh, this doesn't, it never, it, it, does. it never got in the way. I can hit it with fuzzes and all kinds of things. I could turn this on and it'll still and, be... And let's not talk about sound because it's shiny. Come on, uh, how, how yes. beautifully shiny is that? That's why I got it in the first place. I, right. I, this is the first time I've ever actually heard it. So. <laughs> just have that on your board and go yeah. like, come on, look at it. Yeah. No, just don't touch it. It can't be plied. Yeah. Which, of course, you guys should know that reference. And if you don't, why are you here? Moving on to um, whatever setting you had there, this, that, kind of like that. Yeah, something like that. And um, let's go, simple twimble, sim it, what, that, that, the brown thing. Yeah. Well, this is kind of, you know, the Dumbly amp overdrive thing. Although I think it's a bit broader than that, personally, wow. but. Uh... But it's slight, the lower you come, the slightly fuzzier it gets. It does. A tiny bit. It, it's the, with, the, with the lower wattage amps, mm -hmm. I mean, I play through a 100 watt amp live, so it doesn't do that. So because it you want to carry heavy things. Um, because it sounds great and it's oh, like... Oh, uh, sound, it's sound, oh, yeah, yeah, sound, yeah, yeah, sound, yeah. sound, that one. Yeah, I carry, and a 4x10 cabinet and a, yeah, 100 4 watt. 4x10? Yeah, yeah, like, so it's like having a, it's like a, having a 100 watt super reverb, you know, but uh, it's made by my friends over at Two Rock, so it's clean, loud, No, 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 you have to say, so. I'll play Two Rock. <laughs> I mean, you have to say that with a little bit of smugness. Come on, a little bit. Come I've on. Been, I've been with them for 12 years. They're good friends of mine, so I'm some great friends. So. Yeah, There's great amps. Come on. Amazing. Well, that's why, you know, it's the, the, I'm a vintage guy, you know, and I grew up on uh, Super Fender Super Reverb, Blackface Super Reverb, and um, so the, the, the Two Rock is really the, the, the only new amp that scratches the itch in the same way for me, you know. So. But let me be... We'll get that done. Let me be an ass. Mm. Sorry, guys, but if you play a two rock, mm. which is kind of a dumble. No, there's nothing no. to this. The no. one I, the, not all of them. They make kind of things where it would have a similar overdrive style bit in the amp. Because you know what my question would be? Why you need that yeah. when the two rock is a two rock with a dumbly sound? It's but not. yours isn't. Mine is a hundred watt clean amplifier. Is that the crystal or something? No, oh. it's the classic reverb signature. I also have a signature model with them, which was a few years ago, but the Wait, new... Where's this? <laughs> yeah. I also, I also but, and that, that, that was, that was uh, a limited edition thing. And again, that was a single channel amp with tremolo and reverb. Oh. And the new ones, um, the new classic reverbs, even better than my signature amp. So I'm using that one now. And, <laughs> okay. Um, until, until I, you know, they, they always, they're always developing the, the Put ideas. Put a sticker on it. Yeah, yeah. Matt Schofield's signature new. Well, we're going to do a version two signature, <laughs> so we'll get there. I'll okay, get, then I'll this get makes my sense. name back on in, it. In that case, yeah. it makes sense for you to, to, to do this. So, I don't see a thing that says gain. Did they just forget that? Uh, this, I think it's a little nod to like the old Dumble Amps, because they had things like accent and sensitivity on it. So, sensitivity's gain. But, it, again, with these things, they are di really dynamic pedals. So, in some ways, calling it sensitivity instead of gain... Makes sense. It gives more of an idea of what you're actually going to get with it, you know, because it is. There's like lots of colours mm, throughout, and yeah. depending on... Wow, so, that's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's, so you can still get that little, little squawk on the top. So you know, you, you're saying you can get. Yeah. yeah. You can get. Well, what one can if one learns how to See, do it. See, because you're saying you can get as, <laughs> as if in if I buy this, I can get that. Well, wait to do the ho oh, oh, ho again. Uh, well. I roughly have the notes, but I don't have the notes. I do feel a bit like you. My hair's 
growing right now. Yeah, I can see it coming out as we speak. Yeah, yeah. Met Professor Trimble. Yeah. Grows hair. Oh, I have no idea. Um, let me, while we're on me, I want to try yeah. something. I want to, obviously this is a metal pedal. No, I want to see it yeah, yeah. for leads. Because um, I have this setting where I have a single coil back here in outer face. And I roll this back and you're kind of in nowhere territory here. Cocked wah, I said cock. A cocked wah sound. <laughs> It gets very fuzzy there, That's yeah. kind of, but it's cool. Yeah, a little bit vintage fuzz vibe. See where we can go with this? It sounds like we were pushing it a bit too much, yeah, right? Yeah, and I think uh, it's... It is a that well. It's called sensitivity. It is a sensitive pedal, and um, I think those pickups being hotter. Yeah, as well. we're we're pushing it a bit. And you can, of course, you can. Wait, what did Greg Koch do? I, I don't know how to do that. Yeah. Is he doing that with his pinky? That's what I want to know because that that's just. He's got some crazy chicken picking he's, things. He's, he's, yeah. And he's nice. What's wrong with people being good and nice? What's wrong with you being good and nice? Oh, I don't know, man. I'll try it. I'll try if you were an ass, it would be so easy to just say, well, he can play. <laughs> but he's a fucker. But no, you're not. Let's move on. We have about <laughs> 4 minutes and 37 seconds. Royal Purple Blue Overdrive. Harry, what the fuck's wrong with you? Um. <laughs> so what does this do? We, it's we, not we, the first time he's been asked that. <laughs> <This week. laughs> Brighter, more open. Yes. This is the neck pickup pedal for me. You know, yeah. it gives that round, like, uh, tubey sound on the neck pickup. And... <laughs> play with it on and then turn down it gives you like another clean tone that's slightly brighter right. so um oh. yeah. yeah nice so that's like my guitar's on about seven and a half and it just gives so that's why i was saying you know about the impedance that hits the front of this pedal it's really important off the guitar that that you've not got ideally you don't have a buffer in front of it so you get the dynamics of the pedal um that a bit like an old fuzz face would do that um it has a similar kind of cleanup thing but uh, in its own own way but that's become like addictive to me now to be able to have that kind of it's a bit like the stevie ray vaughan uh, tim panali sort of sound you know? yeah, how, how, how shocked would you be if, if i told you that i have no idea what that means um not very shocked at this e point. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, look, oh, I'm sorry that slipped out. Um, everyone talks about Stevie Ray Vaughan and I know who he is. Sure. I actually have two or three albums, but to me, I never, it, it, I never listened enough yeah, yeah. to let it sink in really what that means. Oh, sure. That Stevie Ray, Ray Vaughan sound. To me, well, it, 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 it's kind of, is it an untamed overdrive? It no, sounds it's wild. very clean. The, 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 See, I don't know. It's, um, it, that particular song I'm referencing there, Tim Panali, has very, very sensitive, like, shimmery, but fat, but clear, warm, but bright. You know, it's mm -hmm. a sort of paradoxical tone in a way. It's all those things. Um, and uh, so it's quite hard to get, especially through one little amp. He was using, like, five or six amps, Stevie, really loud, really, and then turning the guitar down. This uh, gives us a similar vibe to that. In my mind, it just makes... <laughs> No, 
uh, just a nice. Uh, nice... I, I want to see how close I can get. All I, right. leveled the, I leveled the playing field a bit by going to McMau, which definitely should get me a yeah. little bit closer when it comes yeah. to like neck pickup. Yeah, that's much more of a fit with that. Yeah, sort it, of this, this is one of the most dynamic guitars yeah, you can yeah, possibly yeah. get. Oh my god, the dynamics are freaking ridiculous. Yeah, this, this combination. Yeah. Without this on, yeah. the treble disappears. <laughs> so let's pretty much buy it, have it always on, have it under the board. Yeah, you could even do that for sure. I mean, I'm a, I'm not really a pedally player. I come from being just straight into the amp for many years as well. Don't, you know, don't, so. Don't see this on. No, I'm sorry, too, but pedal freaks. Uh, yeah, yeah, and that's I great. And I, and I have, I love them as well. But when, when you Matt, call... Matt Scofield loves pedals. He's <laughs> nuts for pedals. He's got so many pedals in the kitchen next to the toaster. Pedals. They, they, they're not far from the kitchen actually. In a big box. Yeah. No, 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 no. Usable. I mean, he means usable in front of the amp. That's what he's saying. Yeah. yeah. Matt Scofield, amp, amp and pedal, super nuts. Pedal guru. Maybe. Yes, I'm, I'm yeah, practically exactly. a pedal guru. Yeah. Gotta be careful. You can say penis, cock, whatever you want to say on my yeah. channel, but don't say I'm not really into pedals. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's, I'm that's... getting. I'm picking up the vibe yeah. now. Sorry. Dirty. Bit, yes, but but pedal. Just... I'm a bit slow. Don't bother us of the shit. Come on. So, um, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say that. Um. So, uh, well, right now Joe Morgan's supposed to be in here. I don't know where the fuck he is. No idea. Ah. Oh, um, I mean, hello, Joe. Love you. Um, these, I don't have a single one of these. Well, you should, uh, might be a nice addition to... I'm gonna look out there. Gonna look out there to Jürgen and Harry. I don't have a single one of these. And they're like... I don't know what I that means. I guess they can't hear that, us mean, I, 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 think, I think it might mean you pay twice. Almost certainly that. I think yeah. that's what that means. Yeah. Okay, fine. Um, that green pedal, I really want. Yeah. Because I have one of these. Ah. Mine's even nicer. There you go. M mine says Henning Pauli custom ah. something on it. Mine says that one. And Matt wins. <laughs> Damn it! I don't... My, mine could have... <laughs> The freaking guitar geek is standing there, water <laughs> coming out of his mouth. <laughs> He's dying, because apparently <laughs> I've just been had. <laughs> Fine then. I wouldn't have brought that up, but since you've been no, talking no, no, about yeah, what, yeah, you have, you have what it says on the My name on there means shit. Yeah. That means, is it, is, is Yeah. that's why it sounds so good, right? Yeah, it's he not, put some not, extra mojo fingers. in there, yeah. That's wow. Awesome. It was a pleasure having you here being silly with me. Yeah, man. It's thanks. fucking hot in here. It is crazy. It's hotter, hotter than the sun oh. in here. This was the, uh, the the first fuck. We can have... Th oh, that was a second. Uh, you can only have three fuck... Fa... Fa... La 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 la's on YouTube uh, before they demonetize your video. So... We're up to two. Unless you wanna. Oh, for... F <laughs> so, we still make money. Um... Come on, you want to take my money away, Andy? Pretty much do, yeah. Go. Fuck! Thank you, Andy. <laughs> um, so now we, we, we talk about uh, AC20 and how to operate it with its three knobs and two switches. Um, this was a blast. I'm going to talk to your buddies out there because I want things. Yeah. Uh, and my, my viewers want, you know, reviews and stuff. Come on, it's nuts. It's for them. It's for you. 
Animals at the end, Matt Schofield, Guitar Geek, Robin out there, and Yuri and the whole team. I can see Bo. There's other people. We don't mention them. Um, you've been awesome. Something Animals at the end.